perform Peter from Poland perform huh. in building out a content silo for realtors. I see many agents have a blog and then separate pages for communities with MLS IDX feed. Okay. When I run SEM rush, they are not ranking for any real estate related organic keywords, just ranking for the blog keywords, which have nothing to do with real estate. What's the best way to build out these content silos? Their visual sitemap is a cluster F. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know because I don't do anything with realtor stuff. Um, I just found them to be a headache to work with. So I, I just stopped working with realtors several years ago. I really couldn't give you a strong answer on that. I know we have some people on our mastermind that deal with exclusively in the real estate industry um, that could probably help you with that, Peter, but that's not going to help you here. And I apologize for that. Anybody have an answer for him? Hmm. I'm trying to think. The reality is that I would treat it as a regular, like as a regular, um, a, a regular website, right? Because he, he's he's saying that just ranking for the blog keywords, which have nothing to do with real estate. I would start over there. Actually, I had one client that had that exact same problem. He was ranking for all of the wrong keywords. So I would start over there, trying to push more content for related keywords money buying 10 keywords with content and probably you know syndication and because that that would be the that would be the main point i would i would wonder like i'm wondering what they're ranking for if not for real estate you know you need to uh work on the topic of the website a little bit because the topic is definitely not there does that make sense yeah i totally agree with hernan and again the caveat that i haven't worked in this niche i'm not sure but i would just look at the content you say they're ranking for the wrong stuff but what is the content should they be ranking or not like go that way and then like hernan said if you know they need uh, content either update or create new content that's going to target the actual keywords yeah there's i know there's some things that you can do to, to build relevancy if you're going to use a con a complex silo structure but it can be it Again, as the title implies, it can become incredibly complex to do so. But for example, and, and I know, I think it was Muhammad uh, in the mastermind was asking a question similar to that um, about using, you know, like, for example, a, a particular area, right? Like maybe a, a, a town uh, that has some big housing developments that are well known, right? So like, they're almost like their own municipality. They're not, they're not, they don't have their own government, but they're just big neighborhoods, right? And so in there, like you could, you could literally like set up a silo for like the county, right? And then set up us the, the sub, the uh, uh, subcategory, child page plus subcategory as like that area, right? That, that, that housing development. Um, and then from there, you could have in your posts, like, doing articles about uh, or blog posts about the the various builders and the amenities and things like that. And in your case, since you've got MLS or IDX feed in there, which will pull in listings, I don't know how good you can get with filtering, like what it pulls in, but that, that way you could literally have only houses within that specific development in that particular silo, if that makes sense. And you could add subcategories for each one of those types of neighborhoods within that county. Now, again, that can become very complex. That could be a lot of content, a lot of pages, guys, a lot of categories and subcategories. Well, not, not necessarily a lot of categories, but a lot of subcategories, right? So there's a lot of width to a silo there. Um, it, it, you guys understand width and depth when it comes to silos, right? So you could add a lot of width to a silo this way, but it would actually, it's logical, right? It would start to build up the overall presence into that county, for example, or city, you could even do it at a city level. My point is there's stuff that you could do there, but again, I don't know, since I don't mess with the MLS anymore, um, I don't know how good you could get about filtering to where it's only adding data specific to certain like neighborhoods and that kind of stuff. But what I like about th that possibility at least is the fact that that's dynamically created content. So your pages get updated regularly with new listings. So again, if there's a way that you could structure silos very uh, segregated or compartmentalized like that, then there are some pretty ninja things you could do. But again, the site could become rather complex that way. And that, that becomes a real pain in the ass to build those kind of sites out, guys. It's, that's why I always recommend sticking with a simple silo structure um, at all, you know, as much as possible. Okay, because it, again, you, you end up spending a lot of time just trying to map out these sites and trying to figure out how to, a lot of th crazy things happen when you use the complex silo structure as far as like 
uh, especially if you're trying to use physical silo, which is, shows it in the permalink. If you're going to be doing a complex silo structure with something like that, I recommend sticking with the virtual silo where you're just using the uh, post name permalink structure, right? Because you end up getting like some real funky stuff going on with the URLs when you do that. Um, so anyways, good question.